Welcome back to another video of something a little bit different today, uh, a bit more of a sort of local vlog. Um, it's an autumnal day, it's not raining yet for the first time in ages. Uh, so we're taking a uh, autumnal walk uh, up through the Shibgun Valley here and uh, into Halifax. Just climbing up through the Shibdin Valley. This was the old road from Halifax towards Bradford for, for many, many years in the olden days. Uh, before that was replaced by the uh, more direct A58. This one sort of goes up over one hill, down into another valley, and then climbs back up again. Uh, so it's generally quite a peaceful road, although it is used as a bit of a, of a rat run these days. But in the uh, autumn colours, it's very pretty. Yeah, you can get a bit of an idea there of the uh, the pull up from uh, the valley bottom. Just getting to the edges of uh, the Shibden Hall estate. Uh, Shibden Hall's a grade two starred listed building very historic house that uh, was at one time home to Anne Lister of uh, TV's Gentleman Jack fame. Just on the edge of the Shibden Hall estate there is a boundary stone, LYR. Uh, it's a boundary stone for the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway uh, that built uh, the Halifax to Bradford line uh, down through the Shibden Valley, uh, and it's still there, uh, I don't know, getting on for uh, 200 years later. Almost at the top of the hill, the car park here for Shibden Hall. It's still a bit early, but it's usually uh, a lot busier than that. Just getting to the brow of the hill now and spread out before us in the mist is, uh, is Halifax. So we're going to drop down uh, the hill and into the town. Just about to cross the, uh, the bridge over the, uh, I would say the new A58, but it's been there for decades and decades. Uh, but this is uh, Godly Cutting, which was uh, replaced the road through Shibden Valley uh, that we've just walked up. So that's Halifax there, spread out before us in the mist. Uh, it's looking busy, it's, uh, it's only just after midday on uh, Sunday, at the end, uh, mid November. Um, I can't imagine why it would be so busy. There is uh, a Christmas market on the piece also, maybe that's it. Uh, but as we are intending on calling in there at some point later on today, we'll, uh, we'll find out. But yeah, from a distance, all the car parks look busy and there looks to be quite a lot of, uh, of traffic backing up um, in the town. Right, hard work's done. Uh, we're heading downhill now um, into Halifax. So that's the Minster there, just realised uh, why everywhere is so busy. Um, it's Remembrance Sunday, it's not long after uh, midday. Uh, that would have been a, a Remembrance service at the Minster, which is next to the, uh, the uh, War Memorial. So, um, mystery solved as to why the town is so busy so early on a Sunday morning. Just uh, behind me here, uh, hidden behind the trees are what were the uh, coal drops um, for Halifax Station back in the day. 
Um, so quite a unique historical uh, monument. Um, but very sadly neglected and uh, fallen into rack and ruin. Uh, we're just heading under the railway now, um, past the uh, Nestle factory that was originally Macintosh's, uh, creator of Quality Street, and we're going to have a little uh, walk around the back of town. So above this retaining wall is Halifax Station. Looks like it's got a bit of a bulge on it here. Uh, and we're just walking um, down past um, the Nestle Chocolate Factory, home of Quality Street and after eight minutes. So we're just skirting past the uh, Nestle factory not much activity uh, for a Sunday. Uh, we're just on the cantilevered path above the Hebble Brook, um, which I did in a video over a year ago now when I was exploring uh, the Halifax Arm of the Colburn Hebble Canal. Um, I thought this might have been less muddy, but the path's actually... It's quite slippy with it being this uh, old-fashioned York stone. Um, but quite an impressive cantilevered path along the river. or the brook is in uh, considerable more flow than it was last time. I was here in the summer of uh, 2022 when we hardly had any rain, uh, whereas for the last few weeks it seems to have done nothing but rain over here. So yeah, it's quite a, um, quite a fast flowing brook at the moment. Taking a bit of a different route today. Uh, the path uh, down the old canal which I went down on a video that I did last year uh, far too muddy after all the rain that we've had so we've come around the back and sort of looking down on where the canal would have been. Uh, the Stony Road Cemetery to my left. Um, I'm just taking the uh, slightly longer but hopefully a much less muddy route uh, out of the town uh, down towards um, Salter Hebble. Little pull up the hill there from the uh, valley bottom, not too, uh, not too steep, and we're on the level now heading into um, the old district of Siddle. coming down a bit now it was very tempting to uh, call into the cross keys uh, lovely award-winning uh, real L pub but we just need to uh, get where we need to be unfortunately a bit pushed for time uh, so maybe uh, maybe there'll be a chance to call in on the way back So we dropped down from Siddle, we're in an area called Bottoms. We've met up with the 
Hebel River again here. And crossing over what would have at one time been the canal bridge for the canal that went into the centre of Halifax. So we're uh, walking back into Halifax now, dropped off what I uh, needed to drop off. It was a uh, birthday gift. Uh, it's wet, it's cold. Uh, we're walking back along the Hebel Trail, which runs from Salter Hebel uh, almost all the way into Halifax, into the railway station. Um, walked down here before on my uh, canal exploration video. Lovely little walk, nice and quiet, tarmacked, it's not muddy. Um, so we're going to head into Halifax and we're going to have a look at um, Christmas markets in the Peace Hall if they're still open, if we get there in time. Just left the tarmacked um, cycle and pedestrian only part of the Hebel Trail at Phoebe Lane uh, just for the last little stretch uh, into town uh, we're walking through Shoresyke Mills uh, just hoping that this rain eases off a little bit the uh, Shawsyke Mills, home of uh, Holdsworths for many, many years. Uh, one of the largest mill complexes that I'm aware of uh, in Halifax, uh, now home to a, a mix of small businesses. This is on the Final approach to Halifax. Trying to resist the temptation to pop into the very welcoming Three Pigeons. Fabulous pub, always a good pint in there, but um, we're just going to see if we can get the last hour, half hour maybe, three quarters of an hour in the Peace Hall. Then there will be plenty of time after that to go for a pint. That's it mate, it's the town centre. Um, looks like the Westgate quarter development has started. Fences up and uh, machines there. Uh, just heading now into the Hall finally. Yeah. Very good, right? 
different to the last time we were at the Peace Hall uh, a couple of months ago on warm summer evenings watching uh, concerts but it's great to see it so uh, so busy at such a late stage um, of the weekend really good to see so many people here <laughs> That's us done in the Peace Hall. We've done our bit, we've supported the local artists with a uh, picture and a coaster. It's wet, uh, it's cold. We are heading for a pint. 